this episode of Cars and Brownies. It's the GTWS Manufacturers Cup here at Suzuka Circuit in our Sirocco Group 4. All right, let's kick things off here. Qualify for pole position. We got Dope Boy in the Audi Quattro TT right behind us, along with Panel, who's also in the Audi TT Quattro. All right, shall we start? Let's get it on. Here we go. Get the tires warmed up. Into turn one at Suzuka Circuit. Always a good time. So far, so good, holding it down in the first lap. Coming into the s bends Holding it down as Dope Boy slowly makes some gains. So in this race, you're required to run some racing hard tires um, and uh, we're starting off on the mediums so eventually within the 12 laps we got a pit a refuel and switch over to the racing hearts into the hairpin turn slightly overshot it and gone wide so don't boy is right on our bumper now. You get the views from the roof looking back. Whoa! No boys ghosted through us there. Luckily, otherwise my bumper would have been mashed up. Down the back street. Seems like uh, Dope Boy might be using the analog stick. Pretty twitchy. You should try out the motion sensor. I'm telling you, much smoother. It takes a couple days to get used to it, but well worth it, trust me. Nonetheless, into the chicane at the end here, and Cars and Brownies has slightly gone off. Nonetheless, still holds it down, keeps it contained. This dope boy is right on a rear quarter here. Down the front line into second lap. Dope boy looking for the inside move here. Makes it happen. Almost some contact there. Not quite. We got Slayer and the Aston Martin coming in hot here. Some contact to bump there. Oh my days, fam, listen, yeah, give space, otherwise that will happen. Still in second place behind Dope Boy. Slayer and the Aston Martin just looked like he wanted to ram through everything. Come on now, keep it clean, yeah? Alright, Dope Boy takes pole position. First, on the left, holding it down on his bumper. And uh, we slightly ghosted through the bumper there. Uh, currently sitting in an Audi TTS sandwich. This Pinel is behind us in third. It's a Volkswagen showdown, ja. Das Auto. Brotherly companies of Audi and Volkswagen. Currently in podium. Doing a little bump draft there. Down the back straight in the second lap. Looking for the inside move there. We're going to back off. Lock off. Coming into the chicane at the end here. Oh, and Dope Boy slightly gone off. 
as I did last lap and right back on his bumper here. Going into the third lap. Move over to the inside. Back off here. Don't have enough momentum and no! Ghosted through Dope Boy there, luckily. Thought we were in a disaster. Coming up in the S Bends. Closer there. It wasn't enough to make a move. Staying patient in the third lap. Back off earlier there. Want to avoid any collision. Go for the outside move. Not too sure what I was thinking there. Should have gone for the inside. Probably could have made a move happen. Ghosted again in the hairpin. Still in second place. Third lap. As a dope boy slightly seems to be pulling away. Uh, we got some competition gaining on our bumper as well. We still got a nice little gap going. Down the back straight. I believe I might have served the penalty there, I'm not too sure. If you look at the rest of the grid here. Going on, Dope Boy and I. I just come into turn one. Dope Boy's understeered wide and slightly came back in, and we accidentally punted him. I hold off a bit here. Uh, I got um, the Audi TT mixed up. I thought that was Dope Boy once again, but clearly it was another Audi that was behind us. Let's move into first. Accidentally giving him a love tap there. The Viper, the Dodge Viper, heavy on our bumper. Ooh, almost lost it into the sand there. Contained it, kept it in control. Fall into third now. Behind the Dodge Viper, a Slayer in the Aston Martin, heavy on our bumper. No oh boy, too. I believe a certain penalty there, so we're gonna get past. Fall all the way to fifth place as Dope Boy makes the pass. Coming up to the games here. Close quarters, bumper to bumper action from first to fifth. Absolutely no separation. Into the fifth lap. Absolutely madness. Bumper to bumper, into turn one, here we go. And Slayer all over the place, bumps dope boy. 
We're gonna go for the outside pass here, and look at this. We have bumped by Slayer once again. And another punt. Come on, man. That's twice through the s bench within two laps. Or three laps, I should say. Slayer, buddy. Being a bit reckless. Cool it. That's forced, kind of forced me to ruin my lap. On into the sand, now we fall in two positions. Into fifth place. As Daga and the GTR is behind us. Daga. Slank from Marijuana. Daga. Smoke the Daga. Alright, coming up into the hairpin. Nicely executed. Nice and smooth. Good boy and Slayer right in front of us. Pinnell still holding down first place. Ross Musin. The Dodge Viper in second place. And we come to the back straight. Bumper. Knock off, break earlier, downshift into the final chicane. We'll go for the outside move and uh, slightly lost control, caught the grass. I'm gonna fall back a little bit into the sixth lap, sitting in P5. Halfway through the race. And into turn one. Dope Boy is understeered and gone wide. We're gonna make the pass out the exit of turn one. We're gonna skip ahead to the back straight. And Cars and Brownies has understeered into the Astro Turf. We're gonna lose some ground as Daga and the GTR make some gains. End of six. Gonna pull into the pits. The final chicane. He does go into the pits as Ross Musin takes the lead. Slayer falls into second. Myself in third. As we gain back into the podium. Lap seven. Through the S bends. We're gonna pull into the pits as we're running out of gas. And switch over to the racing hearts. So don't catch a big penalty. Refuel. We're about half a tank. Into lap nine. We're pull out. Pull out the pits right behind Daga. I believe he was already on racing hard and just needed to refuel. He pulled out the pits right before us. He's currently sitting in fifth. Dope Boy behind us in sixth. And Ross Musin and the Viper holding down first place as Pinnell falls to third. Out the pits. Now holding down the fastest lap of 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Also wanted to let you guys know that for the last few races, for the last past couple months, I've been racing without traction control. And, um, I've heavily progressed with lap times and everything in general, driving in general when and where to put the throttle and we've gone off into the grass out the hairpin we're gonna lose some ground 
fall behind from Dega. The ninth lap. Those dope boy make some gains. of turn one and uh, Dega seems to have lost control. We're gonna make the pass into fourth place. And the s -Benz here. And we've lost control at the end of the s -Benz into the sand and Dega regains fourth place. side down the back straight he notches ahead we're gonna back off don't want no collision we'll take the outside of the turn and dope boy moves into fifth as we fall into sixth place into the chicanes at the end we're gonna give uh dega there a little pump draft as we go into the 11th lap the time of 2.22.2 Pretty terrible lap time Out of turn one Bumper to bumper through the S-Bends Let's see if we can make anything happen here for the move but everything block off through the s -Bans. all right well out of pace bringing up another bump draft there not enough to make the move on dope boy just kept it collective there Toss out the exit, but right on the bumper of Dega. And look at this here inside shoot! We made it happen! And Dega slightly ghosted there, and he's lost control into the sand. Sorry buddy, I had no contact with you there at all. That was a perfectly executed inside move. And we've moved up into fourth place behind Dope Boy. At the end of the back straight going into the chicanes. Up the chicanes, a little over the curb there. Down the front line for the final lap. It's in a time of 2.15.8. Here we go. Final lap 
behind Dopo into turn one. Smooth and collective. to fourth. All right, like, can we hold it down for the rest of the lap? We seem to be on pace for our fastest lap as well. Out the hairpin. And uh, Ross Musin has fallen second. Slayer in third as Pinnell makes gains into first. served a penalty there for uh, cutting a corner that's okay we're gonna cross the line as we thought was what would be fourth but it seems like Ross Musin never changed over to the racing hard tires and we're gonna move up into third for that first race all right on with the second race here with a terrible qualification of seven how we go from qualifying for pole to seven explain that to me as we look at the rest of the grid here, Dr. Nismo in the S15. Top secret S15 looking good. Vincenzo in second. Speaking of Vincenzo, you guys ever watch the show Vincenzo on Netflix? Just check it out. Korean Italian mafioso man. It's a pretty cool show. Got right into turn one. Kept it smooth and collective. The exit. Behind Nasby and the AMG here. Ross Musin and Dope Boy also in this race once again. They are sitting in fifth and fourth. Looking for the move on the AMG here. Nothing happening yet. Just kept it controlled there. The game on the AMG right on the bumper now. He's slightly glitched there, not too sure what happened there. And into the hairpin turn. Give him a slight little bump. A little love kiss, but watch this! Hands wants to ram me into the wall. What's going on with you? Let's take a look at that once again from the outside. A little touch on the bumper, and Mance thought I was trying to take him out, and he just comes right back at me. That was more of a bump draft. Once again, let's get a better view. Let's get a better look at this. I've given him plenty of space. That was unnecessary, uncalled for. There you go. You can go ahead and keep sixth place. It's only the first lap, man. That was absolutely uncalled for. That's two races now. Anyways, into the back straight, still in seventh place, first lap. On the bumper of the AMG. Any patient, it's only the first lap of 12. Look at this, it 
into turn one. Nasmi loses control and spins out. There was no contact from me at all there. That is karma, my friend. That's what you get for trying to take me out last lap. Anyway, we're gonna skip to third. Oh, we're gonna dodge B6 U in the Corvette there. Third into the chicanes. That's dope boys. Lost control and it goes through him. Just like that from seventh to fourth behind Vincenzo in the last of Tenza. And Carson Brownies has set the fastest lap of 214.3. Go looking for the move on Vincenzo on the inside of turn one. A little bit of contact. Made it happen into third place. Podium. Fourth lap going into the S Benz. A little bit of a dirty move, but the window, the inside window was wide open for me. And we made that move happen. Executed at the right time. And it wasn't like an intentional punt to take him out. Like man still kept it in control. He was still within the lanes. Look at this, he's still right on my bumper. Slight dirty move, but it's a passable move, you know. It wasn't a dirty move at all. I wouldn't say. Out the hairpin. Holding down third place. Ross Mewson, the Viper in second. Dr. Nismo with the S15 in first. And look at this, Ross Mewson. Has lost control in the sands. We're gonna make gains on the back straight. Right on the bumper of Ross Mewson now. Looking for the move. Not quite enough. Do the inside. To back off. Don't want no contact. Keep it clean. And look at this here. Three abreast going into the front line. And uh, Ross Musin enters a pit lane quite late there at the end of fourth. It's a bit early. I would say. Now the front line now sitting in second place. Okay. One lap by. See the S Benz. Vincenzo still sitting right behind us. A skip ahead to the end of the back straight of fifth. And it seems like I've lost my fastest lap to Dr. Nismo. He said a fast lap of 214.3. The exit of the chicanes and the flat five down the front line, and uh, we've taken the fastest lap once again. The time of 14.1. Sorry, Dr. Nismo, but I just have to make it happen. As he loses control in first, we're gonna make some gains. We're about a turn behind Dr. Nismo now. Lap six, through the s -Benz. Looking to make gains on Dr. Nismo. Seems like Vincenzo's falling behind a bit. And uh, Dr. Nismo seems to be seven seconds behind his own pace. Carson Brownie's now about half a turn behind. Not enough to make any moves yet. We have Dr. Nismo well in our sight now. Into the hairpin. and 
straight. Still got Dr. Nismo on our sight. Gotta make some big gains here. to the seventh lap. We're gonna skip ahead to the back straight of the seventh lap. We're well on our pace of beating our own fastest lap. And uh, looks like we've made a bit of gains here on Dr. Nismo. We're well close in the chicane now. A little quicker. He's gonna pull into the pits and the seven. We're gonna move into first place. Back into pole. And uh, we beat our own record. We set a fastest lap of 213.3. End of eight, we're gonna pull into the pits as we're almost running on empty. And we gotta switch over to the racing hards as well. As that's what's required. We don't wanna catch a fat penalty at the end. Let's gas me up, falling into second as Vincenzo makes the pass. All right, pulling out the pits now. Into second place, here comes Dr. Nismo as well, making gains. In third place, we got the Corvette V6U in fourth. Hulk smash in fifth. And Dope Boys fall into sixth. few more mans pulling into the pits here to refuel. Lamborghini dead last. End of ninth. Got the chicanes down the front line. Vincenzo pulls into the pits and we're gonna regain first place. And 
spider almost loses control but contains it. Making gains on B-Doggy here right on his bumper into the S-Bent of this pink chrome Pijo RCZ. For the inside shoot, almost made some contact. We're gonna back off. There's, uh, there's not enough momentum to make a move yet. Oh, flying over the curb there. And gone slightly wide. And we're gonna catch a penalty for cutting corners and that or makes the inside move into second place. Bumper to bumper action into the hairpin side by side. I'm gonna back off. Gonna try to get into the slipstream here. Into the second set of hairpin and round the back straight. so far. That gap looks like it's opened up a bit now. Between Big Doggy and Nadek. Place to the S-Bends and B 
doggies falling into third. I'm surprised he's only in third. That was a pretty big crash. And in fourth lap, we're well on pace of beating our own record lap time again. and brownies is moving. All right, skipping ahead into the fifth lap through the S-Bands. Uh, slightly understeered into the grass here. Lose control. Matter is going to slowly close down the gap. Pretty well on our bumper. Into the hairpin. He's gonna close down that gap some more. Coming up to the second hairpin here. Still holding it down. There's brownies right over the curb there, a little wide, kept it collective there. Hit the ski and uh on slightly off into the astral turf. And Natter right on a rear quarter here, side by side down the front line. He's gonna notch ahead a bit here. Will he take the lead into turn one? He will. And I'm gonna back off and fall into a slip street. Lap six, turn one. Falling into second one. Heavy on the bumper of nah, they're still I'm gonna keep putting on the pressure through the S bends. Almost made some contact there, but we backed off just in time. Looking for the inside move here. It's not gonna be enough, we're gonna back off a touch. Bends. Still putting the pressure on Nader. 
you ain't letting off. Hungry for that pole position. Look for the inside move there. Not quite enough momentum, that's pretty much blocked off. Don't want no contact. Safety first. Chicanes, the final lap, half a second penalty, 
happy doggy behind us in third. Nader has already crossed the line in first place. We come across and finish this one in second. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cars and Brownies. Hope you enjoyed the action-packed racing this evening. Catch you on the next episode.